guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can pair your Xfinity Flex remote with your TV. I'm gonna show you the steps to do that. I'll hold the remote about right here or so as we go, just so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm on the app screen currently um, of the Xfinity Flex device. Uh, this is where you can select all your different apps. And the easiest way for us to get to the settings menu is just to hold down the voice button here and then say settings. So I'm going to do that now. Now. settings and then once you do this it will take you into the settings menu here and we're going to go down to remote settings and then once you're on remote settings you can press the button right in the middle of the silver colored diamond here um, and that will select it and then this takes us to the remote settings screen and we're going to scroll down to voice remote pairing and then we're going to press the circle button here again um, and then this will take us to this screen here and it's saying do you want to use your remote to control your tv power and volume and we're going to select yes just by pressing the circle button again and then it's scanning for devices right now and it's asking me is this tv made by sharp um, and it is, so I'm going to select yes um, just by pressing the circle button again here. So now it says ready to pair. After this, you'll be able to control your Sharp TV power and volume using your remote. So I'm going to press the circle button here again uh, to select OK. So now it says confirm pairing was successful. Try using your remote to adjust the volume on your TV. So I'm going to use the volume buttons here just to check um, that the volume does work on the TV. Um, and you can see that it is working here, so that's great. Um, and then if it works, um, you know, that's already highlighted. We can press the circle button here uh, again to move forward. Or if it doesn't work, you can use the right directional arrow to come over here and then select um, the circle button to let it know that it didn't work. Uh, but in this case, it works, so I'm going to press the circle button here. And it says, if you have an audio receiver, do you want to control it with your remote? Um, I do not, so I'm going to press the right directional arrow to not now, and then press the circle button. Okay, now we're back at the remote settings menu, and it was as easy as that. So I hope this video has been helpful, and thank you so much for watching. I do have other Xfinity Flex videos that I'll link in a playlist at the end of this video. And if you're interested and have time, please check that playlist out. Thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.